Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the chapter water. Water cycle. The process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans, atmosphere and land is known as the water cycle. Sun's heat causes evaporation of water vapor. When the water vapor cools down, it condenses and form clouds. Then fall on the land or sea in the form of rain, snow or sleet. Major sources of fresh water are ponds, rivers, springs and glaciers. The water of the oceans is salty or saline as it contains large amount of dissolved salts. Most of the salt is sodium chloride or the common table salt. Ocean Circulation Movement occur in oceans. Waves, tides and currents. Waves When the water on the surface of the ocean rises and falls alternately, they are called waves. During a storm, the winds blowing at very high speed form huge waves. These may cause tremendous destruction, an earthquake, a volcanic eruption or underwater landslides can shift large amounts of ocean water. Huge tidal wave called tsunami that may be as high as 15 meter is formed. The largest tsunami ever measured was 150 meter high. Tsunami The Earth's Pandemonium On 26 December 2004 Epicenter Western boundary of Sumatra Magnitude 9.0 on richer scale Speed 800 km per hour Depth 3 km Killed more than 10,000 people and affected more than lakhs of lives. Tides The rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called tide. High tide When water covers much of the shore by rising to its highest level. Low tide When water falls to its lowest level and recedes from shore. Causes of tides Strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and the moon on the earth's surface causes the tides. Spring tides During the full moon and new moon days, the sun, the moon and the earth are in the same line and tides are highest. Neap tides When the moon is in its first and last quarters, the ocean water get drawn in diagonally opposite direction by the gravitational pull of sun and earth resulting in low tides. How high tides are useful? High tides help in navigation. They raise the water level close to the shores. They help the ships to arrive at the harbor more easily. High tides also help in fishing. The rise and fall of water due to tides is being used to generate electricity. Ocean Currents Ocean currents are streams of water flowing constantly on the ocean surface in definite directions. Warm Ocean Currents Warm ocean currents originate near the equator and move towards the poles. For example, Gulf Stream. Cold Ocean Currents Cold currents carry water from poles or higher latitudes to tropical or lower latitudes. Example, Labrador Ocean Currents. Ocean currents influence the temperature conditions of the area. The area where the warm and cold currents meet provide the best fishing grounds of the world. Thank you friends. Bye bye.